Hey, how's it going? Drossy here. I'm here today to talk to you about a very underrated Dis Priest talent. Right here, um, Shield Discipline. So yeah, what it does is every time one of your shields is used up, you restore 0.5% of your maximum mana. Super simple talent. Um, of course, what it compares to is uh, in the same row we have Solace here. Now, all the other guides, right, all the guys out there that you're going to see, I tell you to run Solace. And, um, and they're right. You know, Solace is the best for Arena. Unfortunately, uh, you know, as I'm sure many of you know, out there we can basically only ever find guys for Arena, right? There are no guys for RPGs. Um, I don't know why people don't play that much, I guess, or whatever. But um, even though most of the time, right, most of the time it does translate over. You take the, you know, Arena guide for Disc, and then you just, you know, do the same thing for RPGs, and it works out. But in this particular case, I'm going to be showing you why for RPGs, Shield Discipline is actually the time you're going to take most of the time. Okay, let's just jump right into it. So. Solace, um, we're going to do some math here, right? So Solace, we have every 13 seconds, so that's the, we're just by haste. Um, I have basically haste on every piece of gear that I can. I have 600 haste, that's 18%. So it's it's a lot of haste, right? Like with 227, this is as much haste as you, as you can get at most, because we're focusing on verse. Um, and so with a 30 second cooldown on Solace, that means you can get 1% of your mana every 13 seconds. And of course, okay, so that's assuming, right? This is the best case, I'm being very generous here, where this is assuming that you cast it every single time it's off cooldown immediately. And honestly, that's not the case, right? Like, there are so much more buttons, because this is a GCD, right? There are so many more buttons that are more important than this. Like, if someone's dying, get a Radiance, or a Pain Suppress, or Barrier. Um, we just gotta, you just gotta keep people up, right? You got Dispel CC. And if those ever happen, when this comes off, you're gonna be losing a bit of mana there. But, you know, for the sake of math, we'll just say that we use every cooldown, okay? To make it easy. So Solace here, um, if you just divide 1% mana over 13 seconds, you're getting 0.077% mana every second. Okay, Okay. next let's look into Shield Discipline. So Shield Discipline is a little hard to calculate because it changes based on how many targets you have, right, that you're going to be using this on. And that's the key to what makes it different from Arena, right? So um, we're always going to be running Trini, of course, so we assume we cast a shield on our target every 30 seconds to keep up atonement. And we just assume that we want to keep up Tormenta on all the targets that are taking damage, right? Because that's the only way we're going to heal anyways, and that's, you know, the proper way we want to play team fight. So, Shield Discipline's mana return is going to be 0.5% divided by 30 seconds, and then multiplied by however many people there are in this team fight that's going on. Okay, so, um, let's plug some numbers in here, right? If we think about a map like uh, Deep and Gorge, or um, Silver Shared Mines, or Battle for Gun is a really good one. There's basically just constant AV8 team fights, right? The whole entire map, the whole game, you're just doing big team fights, 8v8, right? Um, and that's that's one of the best cases for shield discipline, right? So if we have eight people that we want to shield, that we can keep shields on to heal, and we replied every 30 seconds to keep up atonements, we're gonna be getting 0.13% mana per second. Okay, now that's almost double, right? Almost double of the mana that Solas provides, right? Which is a really, really big deal, considering how important mana is, right, for for RPGs. Even if we take a smaller example, okay? We take a small example like any flag carry map, like capture the flag map, where you have five people offense, five people defense. Um, or on a map like Arathi, where you have bases, you often will have five people in team fight because as a healer, you're gonna be where the spin is gonna be, right? So with five targets for shield discipline, you're still gonna be recovering 0.083% mana per second, okay? It's still more than Solace, right? Even on a five flare team fights. And generally, um, in RPGs as a healer, you're not going to have fights that much smaller than this, especially on a regular basis, right? On an average basis throughout the BG. Uh, when you drop to four targets, uh, Shield Discipline actually does produce less mana than Solace, right? But once again, we're taking into account the best case possible scenario for Solace, where you're literally using everything on cooldown, right? The moment you miss one by a couple seconds, then, you know, it's not going to produce as much mana as that. Um, and also, we're not taking the best case for Shield Discipline, because actually, you know, you don't exactly cast it 30 seconds um, right before the Toma expires, right? Like, if you have your tank taking damage, you never want a Toma to expire. Like, if it's, there's, like, three seconds left on a Toma on the tank, probably just reapply shield, right, to make sure they're getting heals the whole time. Uh, it's not worth the risk of losing healing for a couple seconds. That means you're going to be getting even more mana back from Shield Discipline, right? Like, the numbers I provided here are a little lower bound for Shield Discipline, whereas the numbers for Solace is, like, the absolute upper bound if you're really perfect with the play. Okay, so with that, um, we get the numbers here, we got the math, and you can see that Shield Discipline produces more mana 
almost all the time than powered solids. The only exception I would say is if you if you know your team is running some kind of strategy where you as the this priest is not going to be with the main team fight. Um, you can be running with like a small skirmish team. Um, this might happen somewhere like um, Seething Shore, but you know that's not even in rotation right now. And I don't know if that's ever coming back. Um, but yeah, if, if that kind of situation comes up, then maybe you want to run Solace if you know you're never going to be in the big team fights. But yeah, your discipline, more mana than Solace. And in my opinion, in this row, that's absolutely the most important thing. Like mana is one of the biggest things for RPG healers and this talent is winning out here. Okay, if I still haven't convinced you, um, you may say, you know, look at Solace. Solace does damage, right? Solace does damage every time you cast it. Shield Discipline does literally no damage at all, right? It just doesn't add anything for you. What I want you to consider here, though, is that Power Solace, while it does do damage, you have to use up your GCD for it, right? So every 13 seconds, you lose a GCD, essentially, by casting Power Solace um, just to get the mana. Whereas for Shield Discipline, it's automatic. Um, you're shielding always for Trinity anyways, and you're just going to get the mana back. So... If you look at Solace here, for one cast of this, right, you get 1,774 damage. If you look at something like Purge the Wicked, Purge the Wicked here does 3,200 plus 494, that's almost 3,750 damage, right? That's like more than double, more than double the damage of Solace. In fact, any of my skills, okay, not Smite, <laughs> but most of my skills do a lot more damage than Solace does. Okay, so even though this actually seems like it might be doing damage because you're losing the GCDs here, and like in RBGs, discs are so GCD starved, right? You have so many targets to keep up Purge the Wicked on, you have so many targets to keep up Atonement on, and then there's the spells and Radiance going out. Like, you actually lose a lot from the GCD every 30 seconds here, and like even though it might increase your damage overall by a bit, I don't think it's, it's gonna like that big of a difference. I even believe sometimes you might be losing damage from Solace just because you know, Persia Wicked does so much more damage in one GCD. All right, so to summarize, um, Shield Discipline produces a lot more mana than than Solace does, okay? Um, the bigger the team fights, like anywhere like on eight player fights or anything like that, the more mana you're getting. Uh, it's only lower mana if you're constantly in four or less player team fights, which is very rare actually, um, as of this priest in RBGs. So, Take your discipline, and in addition to that, don't worry about the damage portion of Solace because by losing the GCDs for casting Solace over and over, you're actually losing a lot of damage from your other abilities, which all do more than Solace. All right, so I hope you learned a lot from this video, right? Um, you know, honestly, you should give it a try, right? Um, the numbers don't lie here, right? Shield discipline is really good talent. Obviously, it's not good in arena because in arena, at most you have three targets, right, for for your shields. So that's why it's it's never taken over Solace there. Um, but in RPGs, you know, give it a shot. Let me know if it works out for you and if you like it. If you like the video, give me a like and subscribe. I got a lot more content coming out, so keep on the lookout for that. Um, thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.